back to my channel, Living Life with Serenity. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I post every Saturday. Today's video, we're going to do a little DIY. I am going to paint my cows for the Jeep. Here, let me show you. These are the cows for my Jeep. I will insert a picture on what they look like when they are installed on a Jeep. They're kind of a body armor protection. Of course, I'm gonna paint these purple. So for today's project, um, if you haven't seen, I did a DIY where I painted some hood handles and some door inserts. Uh, check the description down below. I will link that video. It's pretty much the same process as painting those. I uh, First you sand down the product and then you put two coats of primer waiting about 30 minutes to an hour between each uh, section. Then you put two coats of whatever color, of course mine is purple, same thing, you wait about 30 minutes to an hour, make sure the product's not tacky in between each spray. And then when the paint is dry, I like to leave the paint to dry at least completely overnight before I spray my clear coat. So that is what you're going to need to be able to paint your cows for your Jeep. Okay, the first thing we do, of course, is sand it down. So you get you a piece of sandpaper. And you can see how it's kind of a little bit shiny. You just take your sandpaper, get this out of the way. Take your sandpaper and you just really rough it up. Now this has like diamond plate on it, so it's going to be a little more difficult. So you got to make sure you get all the grooves because if you don't, the paint's not going to stick. So if you can see the difference, if you can see the difference where I have scuffed it up compared to kind of where I haven't, this is what you need it to be. So um, I'm be right back. I'm going to go ahead and get both of these sandpaper down. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you kind of the difference between the sanded part and the non-sanded part, you can kind of tell the difference. That's what you need so that the paint adheres to the surface. If you were to try to paint it just like this, it's a very good possibility that the paint would not stick. So I've got one done, now to work on the other one. All right guys, so as you can see, both of these are good and sanded down. So now I just take an alcohol wipe, try to wipe this all down real good. Make sure there's no dust or particles on them. It's a little sudsy still, but I'll rinse that off. Okay, and once that's all done, and then next, we're going to put the primer on. It's all dried, cleaned up, and we'll put the first coat of primer on. Remember to just do light coat. Okay, 
you can always come back. But if you put too thick of a coat, you'll get drip marks. Okay, that should be pretty good for, for first go. Now I'll come back a little bit later and do the second coat. There is the finished priming. So that's drying and once that's complete, then I'll spray. I may run out of daylight before I finish this, so I may have to finish it tomorrow. The primer is all dry, so now I'll get ready to spray the purple on there. Again, light coats. And I have to come back a couple of times. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna let that sit and then come back and put it on another coat. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to re-sand this. As you can see, it's very uneven. So I re-sanded this one and it looks much better. So let me re-sand this one and spray it down and then we can put the top coat. Okay guys, I did one coat of the clear gloss. So I'm going to do my second coat. I'm going to make sure the paint... Are you going to try to help me, Thuggy? <laughs> Thuggy was going to help there for a minute until he smelt that spray. Okay guys, that should do it. Now once that dries, I can go put it on the Jeep. All right guys, they're all dried, ready to go. So we are going to install the first one. I believe this one goes right here. This is what it looks like before. Then I'm going to put, I'm going to install this. So I'll show you after. All right, this is what it looks like after. Now we'll go to the other side and install this one. All right, before. So this is what they look like when they're both installed. I love them. The purple's really starting to shine. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I have a video more detailed on how to paint different Jeep accessories so if you want to check out that video i'll put a link up here also a link in the description like comment and subscribe don't forget live life with serenity until next time bye